Hey everyone, Zim here, and today we're going to discuss how to make large amounts of money quickly from a new save file in Drug Dealer Simulator. Now we're going to accomplish this by rushing towards unlocking access to Lombajana's crew and supplying them with large amounts of cocaine for good profit. With this guide and a little bit of time, you should be floating in more cash than you know what to do with. So let's get started, shall we? So the first thing we want to focus on is getting our level up. Selling weed and amphetamines is great, but we want to get into harder drugs and more zones as soon as possible. So start with dumping early level up points all into Quick Learner. We want to do this so we can get more XP for all of our actions, and once we get past the halfway point towards maxing Quick Learner, we're actually going to get bonus skill points each time we level up. One thing to note is that you should be trying to make the most out of police hours. We want to keep our general risk factor to around better safe than sorry, although your exposition rating doesn't seem to matter nearly as much. Now with points and quick learner, we should level fairly quickly. Make sure you're doing all your tasks as it's important to open up more of the game as fast as possible. Now once again, I'm going to recommend always having spray cans on you because you'll be leveling so quickly that respect within areas may become your biggest issue when trying to unlock additional areas. Another thing that can help is always making sure you have plenty of extra free samples to give out to anyone you find. Now as you continue selling as much as you can, hiring all the dealers you can, and keeping your risk factor low, eventually you reach Sector B. Now if you'd like tips on how to get past the checkpoint with drugs on you, I'd recommend watching my previous video about the subject. Now if you feel having no points in running slash stamina are causing you problems, feel free to invest a few points into it if you want. I never saw a need for it as you can equip drugs such as cocaine into your quick slot. Activate it by pressing the corresponding number on your keypad. And if you want to take a look, I'll be releasing a small video later this week showing the effects of different drugs that you can take. Now if you've kept your risk factor low and unlocked most of Sector B, you'll get a message from Eddie to meet with a local gang leader. This is the key to making vast amounts of money. Now if you haven't kept a low profile, you may end up with a Yakuza as your gang, which is much harder to make large amounts of money with. If however you do want to play with the Yakuza, please check out my other guy. Now it should be noted that it's not 100% certain that risk factor is the only thing you need to worry about to get the gang you want. However, in my four playthroughs, it always has lined up with general risk factor deciding which gang I got. Now getting back to the deal with Bajana's gang, they will offer to pay you $39 a gram. Now comparing this to your $25 costs from Eddie, you can see you're already making a decent amount of profit. However, you can cut the cocaine with things like sugar or salt to reduce the price even more. Doing about 70 grams of cocaine with 30 grams of sugar per 100 grams of product will bring your dollar cost average to about $18 a gram. This means you'll be doubling your substantial investment every time you make a deal with them. Now within a few days, I was able to buy every apartment and any piece of equipment I could want. So all that's left to do is sit back and enjoy your new riches. Overall, using these steps, I was able to finish my first cocaine shipment within four and a half hours of starting a new save file. Anyway, that is going to be it for this guide. If you have any questions, or would like me to cover something in a future video, please let me know down in the comments.